I, I tweeted tweet. that night about how it was cold and how we were in the warm, trying no, to stay warm. I, yeah. Every single fucking reply. There must have been 300 replies saying. Let I'm, me guess. Can I guess? Yeah. They said they sent you the screenshot of the temperature wherever they live. No. Okay. There was two replies. There was, aren't you from Canada? Oh, that one I see, yeah. And the second reply was, it's way colder where I am. Yeah, see, I always get screenshots of, like, the temperature where they are. But here's the thing. They weren't wearing what I was wearing at the time on a football field that was windy as fuck. They might have been. For 12 hours. (laughs) Barbara was in full pads. She was an offensive lineman. What kind of pads? Oh, okay. (laughs) I meant, like, period pads. (laughs) No. Well, come on. (laughs) Because that's what my brain goes to first for some reason. Why would that be colder if you were wearing that? Why would that be a silly thing? It would just... To make you warmer just in one place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> None of you are covered in that. There's now. been a lot of complaints about temperature. A lot of complaints about it. Just from you. But I actually do prefer I- the cold weather versus being hot all the time. Because I think if we were hot on camera, we would look worse. You like complain we just about everything, though. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> Who's the I'm- worst complaint on set so far? Probably Bernie. But wait, let's move, <laughs> you put me on. over Michael and Gavin? No, was it? I don't complain. You complain well, constantly. You I don't complain about stuff here, you're involved I felt with. Ba- I felt bad for Michael the other day because it was it was freezing cold. Oh and, no no no! And Michael was dripping wet, like he had to be like com- like head to toe just soggy. Yeah. Wet, like wet bread. Period wet. bread. Yeah. And get a pad on. And he did. Uh, and, and, and there was and, and I felt bad. I felt so bad for him. It was getting colder and colder as we went on. And there was one point I was like looking at the monitor and I was like, he's not wet enough. I gotta I gotta call makeup you know and to get, get him wet and i tried to do it quietly so because i think it's part of like the dread of knowing they're gonna come spray you and make you wetter while it's colder like that's well you know that's as bad as actually when you get wet that anticipation and so i said very quietly to the, the makeup woman who's next to me can you go make michael wetter he's not wet enough and he heard me from across the yard and he goes, I hate you so much. I heard you say that. I heard you say that. I'm wet enough. Stop it. That would be a total miscalculation, by the way, because one time they did catch him off guard, and that was where we almost lost him. That, oh, really? Yeah, he almost that called night. it quits. Yeah. And actually, I had a very cool celebrity sighting that no one else is going to think is celebrity that's related to this. When I was, I was in Hawaii over the little Thanksgiving Don't break. Know. Steve Jobs? <laughs> yes. No, but as close as you can People get. People would much. actually be interested in that if, <laughs> it was, if he saw Steve Jobs. It was yeah, Johnny yeah. Ive. Do you know who Johnny Ive is? Yeah, no, he's I British. Think he is. He's. A, I think you he's saw been Johnny knighted. Ive. Yeah. Wow. I what thought was that he was wearing? Pretty cool. That is cool. He was wearing a, uh, like a, a unitard, the, the Apple a silver, Genius uh, silver bar <laughs> shirt. How do you imagine that guy was silver jumpsuit? He was answering questions. No, no, he was just just hanging out, just walking across the street. Yeah. It, it, let me see if I know who I you're talking about. Over. I think who you're talking about is the guy who designed all of the Apple products. Is that you're, Johnny Ive? Yes. Johnny Ive is the guy, whenever they release a new project, product, they'll film a guy against a white screen mm-hmm. with a bald head, and he'll waffle oh, he's on the guy with the bald head. about <laughs> how magical it is and how it's yeah. just magic. And it's like, look, I'm a wizard. Look what I've made. I'm so magic. <laughs> yep. To be that's fair, Johnny his Ive. accent and his voice makes everything sound amazing. It does. He's and that's what that. I was like. I was in like a, like a coffee shop or something. And I was, he, some, I heard somebody explaining something. I was like, I, I want to buy whatever he's talking about. I don't know, even know <laughs> who this person is. And I turned ordering. around, I was like, oh, that's who it is. Skinny latte. Was he, was he, was he sitting like against a white wall? Like, <laughs> was, like, like white background. Yeah, behind the white background, people yeah. were painting it as he was Exactly, going. yeah. We should, can we pan the camera over and see like what our other choice for background was today? That was just, we could pan that one around there. So this enormous green screen was our other choice. But we thought... That might not be the best representation <laughs> of the laser team set. Yeah. People will think we have all digital sets. I mean, we you have used green screen for a lot of stuff. Look how many tracking marks are on there. We also did shoot against that green screen. We did. We did. A yeah. lot. This one in particular? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. We oh. left those time We could have chosen a different background, and I could have chosen a different hat, but this is what you get. Yeah. Uh, did Mr. Rogers to... die? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he and he lived and died without, <laughs> he lived and died without died. anyone calling him a pedophile. No, what's wrong well, with you? Why what was he, why was he why a pedophile? I just like all, all of the. <laughs> all of why the, would you uh, say that? Like all of the equivalents in the UK, they like live and they get knighted and they're like national oh. treasures. And then they get one, once they're dead, it's like, oh, he was one of the most prolific sex offenders of all time, and everyone was keeping it quiet. That's on you. That's uh, a yeah. the dad. Jimmy Savile from is who I'm talking about. Seventh Heaven, right? The dad from. Okay, let's be real careful. About, no, that's like, throw Rolf Harris. The yeah, like, that's true, but I think no, that's. I got, think you're right. That was just the other day. Yeah, it was, there was like out. news on it yeah. that he apparently had done the inappropriate things to children. Well, uh, the most famous case of that I remember from the UK was Pete Townsend uh, from The Who yeah. was accused of having a bunch of child porn on his computer. And then he said he's against child pornography and he was researching it to out people. And, and downloading keep, the images? 
I guess so, and archiving him. Um, but that he was, and, he, and that he was cleared of all charges because they said, yeah, he was he was doing an undercover thing of like trying to find out about child porn to bust people from child porn. Nah. Bullshit. <laughs> Did Kevin, you? Kevin's official ruling on that I is. I think if you're just a rock nah. star and like you just. You just go crazy at a certain point, like when you get older. Did you hear the thing the other day about the ACDC drummer? I don't know if he got cleared or not, but he was accused of uh, of, of murder for hire. No way. And, was yeah. he going to murder somebody or he hired somebody? He was hiring somebody. Wow. To have like, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping somebody he doesn't like. You know? and it, was <laughs> just like it was just for fun. This season. was a trial run. <laughs> just kill anybody. But was just, How quickly? But he, but, uh, this one's for you. Yeah, I don't remember kill somebody the, you don't like. The entire story, but it does seem like you hear about these things with, with rock stars like as they get older all the time. It's like they just lose their minds. And they're, so they're they've done everything do. so many times, yeah. and they're so rich and, and every so drug. bored. Just and every, yeah. right? I mean, you can't, like, what's going to get you up in the morning? Do you have life insurance? Point? I do have some life insurance. Can I ask you a personal question? I don't know. Is it the kind of thing that's on the life insurance form? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you tell your wife how much your life insurance policy is worth? Does she know? Um, she thinks she does. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, she knows. Yeah. I, when I was married, I didn't tell my wife how much my life insurance policy what? was. Well, there's no trust. I didn't want to, she would kill you? I didn't want a price tag, like, on me. I was just like, hey, if something goes wrong, pew. You know? So wait, how do they value yeah, that? Then? How do they? Is that to do with how much you pay, or is it just they value you? Isn't it also based on how does it work? Income? It's how much you pay, yeah. I like if they tell much they value you. you. That's bucks. great. Well, like, no, like surely they can how much, how much life insurance can I get for you? Not much. Sixty bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for just me, they put life in quotes. Life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to call it that. But <laughs> the thing about it, though, Gavin, is they actually do. Like, say you want. A whatever policy, just for an even number, say you want a hundred thousand dollar policy. So when uh, I kip it, someone else gets someone that. gets a hundred thousand right. dollars. Yeah. Usually, um, wife or whoever kids. you name is the beneficiary, and then you have to go through a lot of tests. And like smoking and drinking are a big part of that as well, and like everything that's wrong with you, and all the cool stuff you've done in life that have led to bad so things in your body. Gavin will get about ten dollars, I think. For what's wrong with my body? A lot of things, aren't they? But it is like like a doctor will go like you're healthy, you're fine, but an insurance company. With like an actuarial table, that's how you can actually find out like how healthy you are by how much they'll charge you. Because if Matt gets a hundred thousand dollar policy and I get a hundred thousand dollar policy and you get one, they will charge us all very differently based on our age and our lifestyle. Yeah, well, might they be actually cheaper. employ. Usually, be cheaper because you're younger. You're not gonna die in the next yeah, ten years. Yeah, but his head's yeah. all fucked up. What's wrong with your head? Did, don't you have like? Didn't you've had strokes before? Just one. Oh, <laughs> just the one <laughs> stroke. That's it. But no, like that kind of thing. If you wrote that down, they'd be like, oh, you're yeah. Your premium is going up like forty bucks a month. Easy. Yeah. Mental. Yeah, it so is mental. You what happens if you die? What happens if you die, Gavin? Like tomorrow, you walked out of here and an uh, anvil fell out of the sky and hit you. What would that happen with the all of this? I think this podcast would be pretty funny. <laughs> Just that one episode. Yeah, like that because you said that and then it happened. It'd be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> we can predict the future. Notice I would not say this on an Achievement Hunter show. Because yeah. I don't and then money it turn out you. that Bernie was the beneficiary of your life insurance. <laughs> like, where the would plot all, thickens. Where would all your stuff go? Like, you have you have a house, and yeah. you have furniture, let's and you about, have a let's talk checking about this account. Animal company. Could we sue the <laughs> Anvil Company? Yeah, what's the deal with that? Because right. you'd want to sue more, the transport company that dropped out it out of the plane. Oh, did they drop it? It was, it was Anvil Air Express. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're, they weren't to their it, destination yet, and they just started dropping stuff off. Surely all my crap would go to my parents, wouldn't it? I don't know. That's a good question. Wouldn't it I go think to probably so. No, but your parents have no claim over you anymore because you're yeah. over 18. UK might be different. I don't know why it wouldn't go to your employer. <laughs> 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 See, this is exactly why I didn't tell my wife what my You don't want my stuff <laughs> At the time, I was just like, yeah, there's no way So, Because so, you didn't trust her immediately Is that what you're saying? I just I, so so like, did You, ever you like, thought, you thought trust? she was going to off you There's so trust you and then there's entrapment <laughs> Did you have what? What? <laughs> if you I, ever, did if you I like walked in and I said, in hey, I got, I got a life insurance policy for me And you were like, she, you woke up in the middle of the night And she's like going through your files Like in the file cabinet It's like a million dollars or something on, was she on like the like buttering the floor? Let me the, let me propose this to you. Let me propose. No, but if I if like I'm on a machine, it's be, the machine is beeping and everyone's all sad. I mean, she'd go plug plug it. Let's do it. I want like 90 days to like, at least have a shot at it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if you're in an unpluggable, in if you're in an unpluggable situation, an unpluggable. Like, like if you if you can be unplugged and then your life just ends, you, it didn't go well anyway. 
<laughs> what does that mean? Like what if you're a vegetable at that point, it's, yeah. Or if it's you done. just you know, no, like, people recover from the plug. They can. But you wouldn't recover that. like ten years later. Wake up and be like, oh. You can recover in twenty days. You never know. That's a movie, right? So they have one of those uh, movie of the week things. But let me let me let me throw this out to you, Gavin. We're married. You okay? and me. You, you and, and I? me. We're married. Right. We have a very good life together. Thanks, thanks, Barb. Which is a very nice ceremony. I don't know why you guys didn't. I think you wedding, proposed. Cool. I walk in one day and I say, "Hey, I just want to let you know, I'm concerned about your future. Something would happen to me. I got a life insurance policy. What would be your next question? It's for a certain amount of money that you you'll get this money if I die for whatever reason." How much are we paying for that every month? Well, it's like this. I got a good deal on it, considering how much it was for. I got it's like fifty bucks a month. Does and it what? cover murder? But my coverage, <laughs> my coverage, is a billion dollars. So if something <laughs> happens to me, if something happens to me, you will get a billion dollars. Yeah. And I think that's even tax free. I'm pretty sure it is. I would be, I would be loosening screws. I'd be smearing butter on the floor. That's what I'm saying. There's a line, right? I come in with a billion. Yeah. I'm I'm a marked man at that point. I have put a price tag on my head. Because how much money does it cost to get away from murder? Probably yeah. like a hundred million, right? It's a good investment. Yeah. <laughs> she, he's right. You could buy a whole state of judges you for a hundred million dollars. You just buy everyone involved. Everybody. And then it just goes away. And then you have nine hundred million dollars. Yeah. But well, it's kind of like I'd a go. cash on delivery thing, right? I mean, you'd have to buy them and be like, "You're gonna get your money when." <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they'd have to be like, okay, do I really want to wait around for this? Are they going to actually pay up? You know, I mean, that's a tough deal. Yeah, but then he also gets me out of his life, too, so it's like a win-win. Yeah. Sort of thing. <laughs> but that's my point, is that there's a line. No, you're right. Uh, there's a line for everybody. You're right, but I say a billion is, is the right amount. Well, yeah, like, but if, if it was like a hundred million, nah. See, but I got to figure out between a hundred million and a billion where you fall. But I don't know, you think about it. You, you're just saying that because I mentioned a billion, but if I said a hundred million dollars... You'd nah. be like, yeah. A hundred million isn't enough trust to you. go absolutely mental. About what, Bernie, though? He's okay. What? I'm his husband, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This means something. Come on. <laughs> we're married. We're very happy. All of our friends were there. You were there. No, I wasn't. Gus did the ceremony. Me. Oh, right. <laughs> Gavin and I had a lovely, lovely marriage. So I'm saying, there's a line somewhere. I don't want to go through and individually figure out where everybody's line is, because you never know. Someone could hear, like, I have a $2 million policy, and they're like, that's a lot of money. That's not worth killing someone over. Two million? It's not worth, but I'm not saying necessarily kill somebody, but just like, don't care so much. Like, you don't tell them to buckle up their seatbelt, you know? <laughs> you, you, like, you're in the hospital and they're like, is he allergic to anything? And they're like, He's, I don't even know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That kind of thing. You don't, want to, you don't want it to enter in at like a weak moment or something like that. Somebody can make a bad decision. You know? How, okay, say we were married. How long would it take for you to kill me? Like, say you, you decided, so I want fast. the billion. Be, oh, you, if you're a billionaire? Yeah. Oh, I would well, like, how be right could, away. Would it be weeks, months? I would, f I would find out everything you're allergic to and just stock up on that. I'm not allergic to I would cook a Christmas dinner and it would be like peanuts and <laughs> I have no allergies. Next. Penicillin. You have nothing? <laughs> no. I would feed you something on a regular basis to give you allergies. Is that <laughs> how allergies work? I don't, I don't know. I don't like I say I'll feed you as if he's like a baby you're taking care of. And are you kidding me? You, yeah, okay. I, I have learned. You would wake up in the middle of the night and you're like putting food in his mouth. <laughs> like, what, are you do, what are you doing? Thanks. Nothing. It's nothing. It's fine. Who would you least want to be married to in our company? <laughs> probably you. Honestly. What? 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 Yes, yes. <laughs> probably you. I've got, I've got stuff to offer. <laughs> You don't. No, I, Why? Yeah, I don't know. Probably you. Would honestly. you be embarrassed to be seen with me? Why wouldn't you want to be married to Gavin? Because Gavin does like he wouldn't like know any. He wouldn't be interested in me. This like, is what our Christmas picture would look like together. That's beautiful. It's charming. He's even in a sweater. I am in my Christmas sweater. <laughs> that is insulting. God, let me think about that for a minute. Um, Barbara, who would you like to least be married to at the company? I mean, I have answers. I don't know if it's nice for me to say. Nah, do it. It's a podcast. Because you're saying who do you like least at the company? Yeah, that's exactly well, what you're saying. Well, not necessarily. That's why I don't want to say it. Like, for example, I like Michael a lot. I would hate to live with Michael. Oh, my God. I'd shoot myself. I would not want to be married to Joel because I would not want to hear the reason why Joel broke up with me because it would be some, like, small little flaw that he found yeah. out about me. One of your eyes was further from the other Something eye. like that. Yeah. Or, like, your nose is, like, in retrograde or something <laughs> like that. Like, whatever the small flaw <laughs> that turned Joel off to me, I would not want to live with that knowledge of knowing what yeah, that was. He must be the pickiest person alive, right? He's, he's, for, for when it comes to relationships, he's a very, he's very discriminating. Put it that way. Just know. don't say his girlfriend's name So what Spanish. was the thing you were talking about before the podcast about? What about was that? Barbara and... The thing you were. Barbara has a secret boyfriend. No, you have no. a secret boyfriend? Barbara, I think Barbara has a secret boyfriend. 
And I'll tell you what it is. We went to a community friend Thanksgiving dinner, mm. and she went to Thanksgiving dinner with this person. Big deal. And then left at the same time as that person. Oh. And I there was no there was nothing said about it. Nothing said about it. <clears throat> but I think Barbara has a secret boyfriend. He's mm. a very nice guy. Mm. Not good enough for Barbara, but he's he's a nice guy. Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> Do you have a secret boyfriend? No. Does he like your hair? He does. Oh, so he has a secret boyfriend. <laughs> Guess what he likes my hair. <laughs> that was the shortest interrogation ever. <laughs> nah, I don't know who you're talking about. He's not my boyfriend, but yes, he does like my hair. Thank you. Your hair looks very nice. Barbara, Thank you. for those of you who cannot see, Barbara is no longer blonde nope. blondie. She is now brunette blondie. Brownie. Brunetti? Brownie. Brownie. Brown- 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 <laughs> Brown- <laughs> Brown- <laughs> Brown- <laughs> brown- D I'm sounds just- like a character on, uh, <laughs> on Always Sunny. Yeah. I think there was a brown D. Was there? At one point. Someone took a screenshot of her, like, yeah, she got covered in brown bronzed. at a, w- a wedding or something. <laughs> I forget what it was. I'm just waiting for when I dye my hair red and I could be ready. Nope. Stop. Red. Good Lord. Stop. So what was the decision behind taking your hair and making it blonde and brown? Um, I've was it a secret boyfriend? Did he pressure you to do it? Nobody pressured to do it except me. I pressured myself into it. Uh, I've always wanted to do it, and I figured that I'm not involved in any productions currently or going to any conventions in the coming months. So we do have reshoots next week. I was going to say, no reshoots <laughs> for Laser Team. So. <laughs> not for me. I meant to tell you about that. So. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I just decided to do it. Want to change? Well, it looks very nice. Thank you. It totally changes your whole look. I heard. Yeah. You look. Uh, do People, you feel? Do you feel like? Not not to say anything, but do you feel smarter as a brunette I now? Do. <laughs> do you? I came up with a really good idea this past weekend, and I was like, man, brunettes have it. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. They're thinking. All right. Fair enough. I forget what the idea was at this point in time, but you know, it was a great one. <laughs> I forgot the idea. I'm a genius. Your blonde roots are coming <laughs> the, back. Yeah, in. The brown only goes so far. <laughs> For man. some reason, I don't know how it happened.